All right, everybody, it's your main ripper behind the motherfucking trigger, Mr. Turn the Ripper, back with another unboxing video. I know, two in one month? How crazy is that? How insane is that? Mind-blowing. Anyways, yeah, I'm trying out different boxes. Uh, I got that freight crate. It was cool. It was all right. I dug it. I might get another one in the future. And now I'm trying the BAM Horror Box for January 2018. Let's check it out, everybody. All right, switchblade on, pew. And how's this motherfucker open? Right here, here's the seam. Straight down the middle. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, digging it. Put the switchblade over there. Don't want to cut myself, because that's not cool. Well, unless you're into cutting yourself. That could be cool. Okay, how does this mamma jamma open? New boxes. Ah, I had the damn thing upside down. Look at that. Bam. I should have realized when the big old bam should have been on top. Bam on top. I like the way that sounds. Mm -hmm. It's just full of tissue paper. I'm throwing it away. Ah, just kidding. JK. JK. Throw that. I will throw the tissue paper over there though. So I'll pick it up later. Pick it up. We could be like a sky kid. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. All right. Well few little fun things. Valley Drugs, Nancy Thompson, one or two sleep anxiety, hypnocell. That's a pretty cute little item. I dig it. Cause uh, if you know enough about horror movies, uh, this is actually like a replica prop from one of my favorite movies, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors, where she prescribed uh, hypnocell to the so the kids there, they're having nightmares about uh, Freddy Krueger so that they wouldn't fall asleep and they wouldn't have nightmares and they wouldn't uh, have Freddy Krueger in their lives. But of course, uh, he still does them. But it was a fun movie, great movie, cute little prop. Uh, I'm gonna put that in my bathroom down here. You know, people, I might put some like uh, Mike and Ike's or Good and Plenty's or something in there so that there's actually something in there because right now, it's just an empty pill bottle with the label on it, but it's cute. It's a really cute item, fun item. I dig it. Something wrapped in plastic. What can be wrapped in plastic? Oh my goodness, look at that. That's hardcore. It's like a sculpted little Pazuzu head. Exorcist. That's really cool actually. That so it's like, it looks like it's handmade at least, sculpted, and it looks like an authentic prep, uh, prop replica. Prop replica. I did it. I, it took me a couple times, but I said prop replica. <laughs> so there's two prop replicas. We got the drug, we got the hypnosil bottle, we got the Pazuzu sculpted head. Fucking really cool stuff from Bam Horror Box. I'm digging it. I'm loving it. I, lo I like it. I love it. I need more of it. Let's see what else is in there. There's got to be a couple more things. Enamel pins. Enamel pins are still hot. I still dig them, but I'm running out of places to put them. I got this vest. Sexy vest. I got a jacket. Uh, what, what is this one, though? Limited edition enamel pin. Salem's Lot. Designed by Creator Destroy. The pin is limited, released 250. I love that. And you know, anything exclusive, anything limited edition, I dig. Looks like he's about to ram a stake through a vampire's heart. Love that. It's gonna be so cool. Put on something fun. I mean, even like, even if like I'm dressing up for a formal occasion or something, add a little horror flair. Throw it in a suit coat, throw it in your hat. Whatever's clever, Trevor. Fucking get over it. But yeah, that's a nice. It's a really nice enamel pin. Some cool little prop, re prop, prop replicas. And there's gonna be something else left. Let's go. Oh, one up. Congratulations, you got a one up card. Uh, you have an upgraded or limited edition item in your box. Oh, I don't know. It's gotta be the enamel pin is the limited edition. Um, item. Ooh. Look at 
Okay, here's an art print. Looks like it's signed. Um, ba -ba -ba. Bam Horror Box Fan Art Collection Print O is from Insidious. It has been hand signed by the artist Steve Jank Jenks and is guaranteed to be authentic. Well, wow. limited edition, exclusive, digging it, loving it. Check that out, Insidious Art. Uh, I'm not huge into art prints because I get so many posters and autographs and crap on my walls and I'm not bragging, I'm just stating the shit as it is. But uh, I might have to find some place for this. It's signed, it's really well done, and I love exclusive ash shit. So that, that's kind of cool. And Insidious is a scary fucking movie. I said it. You know, those creepy, demonic, ghost story fucking movies, they get, they, those are some scary shit, especially when you're by yourself. When there's other people around, you can laugh about <laughs> No, it's some scary shit. And I dig it. Anyways, I think this might be the last item. There's one last thing in here. Let's see what it's about. Okay, there's another uh, card in the back of it. This 8x10 photo has been hand signed by Jen Soska and Sylvia Soska. I love them. Who directed American Mary. That's my favorite movie by them. Uh, it was signed during a private signing at Bandbox. That is a very sexy photo of two very talented women. I'm a big mo, but I can still appreciate that they look sexy. The only thing, and I have to mention this, um, I met them at Days of the Dead Chicago, and I paid back in, what was it, November of 2017? And I had them autograph an 8x10 for me. So it hasn't been that long a time. It's February, this is a January box, that was just November. And uh, it was about 80 bucks for an autograph by these two beautiful women. And that's fine. I loved meeting them. They were two of the sweetest, sweetest people I've ever met, celebrities I've met at horror conventions. It's full of hugs, great hugs. But, you know, you pay 80 bucks for an autograph and then you get one in a BAM horror box and it's just like, well, I don't really need two, but I'm happy that I do have two. Um, yeah, I will definitely frame this one as long as well as the $80 one I paid for and I don't regret I don't regret that at all because they're such sweethearts I'm so glad I get to meet get to meet them and I'm gonna mention this really quick big shout out uh, to Terra Threads for their Soska sisters um, t-shirt line and also a big shout out to Atomic Cotton for their limited edition Soska sister t-shirts so check out Atomic Cotton and Terra Threads for all your Soska sister fashion needs. Um, but yeah, really cool autograph. Anybody has any complaints about this box and they've never met these two, um, you just saved yourself a buttload of money and that's an amazing autograph. Good for them. Love these girls. Um, yeah, so this is my first BAM horror box. Um, I've never gotten a, a box without a t-shirt, but it's okay because I have a million fucking t-shirts. So. I like the prop rep replicas, I like the um, like the enamel pin, art prints I'm not too big on because my space is already full of shit, um, and I would have to say that the autograph is amazing, I wish I didn't already have it, but I'll frame both of them, I'll put them both up, and I will enjoy both of them, because they're sweethearts and amazing. Anyways, here's a little sheet that Bam Horror Box included to let you all know what you got. Thank you for ordering Bam Horror Block. Ba -ba -ba, some boxes getting dual autograph items. Also be on the lookout for a one-up card to see you got an item with a more limited release. If you aren't part of the Bam community, we want you there. Trade items, enter contests, stay up to date on information. That sounds like a lot of fun. Like a little Facebook community thing, I'll have to get into that. But yeah, BAM uh, box signing with the Soska sisters, exclusive. BAM box exclusive Insidious fan art collection, exclusive print by artist Steve Jenkins, Jenks. And it's signed by him? I mean, that's pretty rad. 
Nancy Replica Hypnosil Prop Pill Bottle from Nightmare on Elm Street 3. Love Dream Warriors. It's so good. I mean, that's that was the Nightmare on Elm Street where they decided to make Freddy fun. And uh, it's so Herschel Gordon Lewis where the kill is the punchline to the joke. And that's an amazing thing, you know, because everybody's trying to scare everybody, that's fine. But if you can laugh at it, it's even more enjoyable. So it took that Herschel Gordon Lewis sort of uh, formula of making the kill, the punchline of the joke, and they elevated it and made it amazing. So Nightmare on Elm Street prop is, is a really cool item to me. Uh, Amulet of Pazuzu Head Replica by Dark Matter Props. Really fucking cool. I dig that. You need to find a really cool place to put that. Bam Box Exclusive Salem Lot Fan Art Pins. Yes, yes, yes. So, yeah, now pins. I'm running out of places to put them, but I do love them. And I got the limited edition, only 250 made. So, that's cool. Giveaway Windless Hand Signed 11 by 17 Reanimator Poster Signed by Jeffrey Combs. Uh, head over to the community page to contest. Oh, cool. That's cool. I'm, I've met Jeffrey Combs. He's a nice guy. I wouldn't mind winning that. I like being a winner. But uh, that's about it for this BAM Horror Block uh, box. Not a block. A box. But I dig it. Um, the one thing I couldn't dig on was they automatically resubscribe you, and I'm sure they said that when I ordered this one. And I was just like, uh, I didn't necessarily want to get into a whole nother subscription. But I'll have another one in February. I would rather check out the, the teasers, the, uh, what do you call it, the clues as to what's going to be in the box before I order it. But oh well, I got the... Uh, February 1 coming next month. So that's exciting. Something to look forward to. Anyways, this is your main ripper behind the motherfucking trigger, Mr. Germ the Ripper, saying, God bless America and fuck Trump. I'm out. Keep it creepy, keep it scary, and keep it horror.